Three early warning weather. All right, we were forecasting up to an inch with perhaps some locally higher amounts, and some of those reports have certainly verified. Here's the latest Enfield, one of the higher totals at 1.6 inches. Uh, uh, from Tolland, an inch and a half. Same from uh, Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest in Weathersfield. Staffordville, uh, just over an inch, and an inch coming in from Farmington, also Rocky Hill. Uh, we're still tracking snow here in the 11 o'clock hour. It's in the process of tapering off and winding down. It's about to clear the Route 8 corridor, so we see some of these darker shades of blue, for instance, in around Harbor. Washington, Plymouth and Bristol, uh, perhaps a burst of some light to moderate snow. Snow also ongoing down Route 2 from Glastonbury to Marlborough into Colchester and farther south as well throughout much of New Haven and uh, Middlesex counties. As we look at the shoreline from West Haven through the Elm City, Brantford, Guilford, Madison, Clinton, all the way over to Old Saybrook and Old Lyme. So where we've got that snow coming down, visibility down to around two miles or less, but Danbury up to 10 miles. So certainly some improvement there as the snow has come to an end. Uh, for many communities, we're at or below freezing and temperatures will go down even lower, especially once we get past midnight and the snow ends and the clouds begin to clear up. Got uh, a northwesterly breeze at around 5 to 10 miles an hour, so that's making it actually feel, of course, much chillier. Wind chill value statewide basically in the mid and upper 20s in most locations. So there's that poor visibility from our capital city. Looking toward the east, 32 right at freezing. Northwest wind at 7 in Hartford. Uh, snow covered green there in the Elm City of New Haven. Haven, very picturesque with the Christmas tree all aglow, but you can see on the side roads just uh, of, of the green there it was uh, certainly wet uh, and our view from New London also looking wetter than white at this point. So uh, we've got the coastal storm moving offshore well to the east of southern New England, uh, but another disturbance has been working from the Great Lakes right across southern New England, giving us this uh, statewide burst of snow that we've been dealing with over the past couple of hours. This will continue to wind down from west to east. So tonight Clearing gets underway as we head toward daybreak. Temperatures drop well below freezing into the 20 statewide, even some teens from the northwestern hill towns. So residual moisture, especially uh, on surfaces that are untreated. So decks, parking lots, so underfoot getting to and from your destination in the morning uh, certainly could be slick. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, the morning commute will be bright. We're going to see sunshine at 7 o'clock in the morning. As we head through the course of our Thursday afternoon, we'll start to see some clouds uh, increase as we head toward the evening commute time. But it's dry during the day tomorrow. Uh, mid 30s in the northwest hills for highs tomorrow afternoon near 40 elsewhere inland 40 to 42 along the 95 corridor. So uh, Friday is a day that features temps in the mid and upper 40s, primarily dry weather, but it's going to be a cloudy end of the week. But we're going to go ahead and jump right ahead of the upcoming weekend as this is when our next storm system, a more potent one, is going to be taking aim on the region. So Saturday morning we could start off with some scattered showers. It could be a bit of a lull. It's not going to be a washout all day long with rain, uh, but the best chance for some steady perhaps heavier rain, maybe even some rumbles of thunder will come after sunset later Saturday evening as a cold front moves through. But before this arrives on Saturday, southwesterly winds could gust uh, to over 30 to maybe even 40 miles an hour, and that's going to send some really warm air into Connecticut. So by Sunday morning, a cold front will be to the east of us. Clearing gets underway, so we're going to end the weekend on a bright and uh, cooler note. So here's a look at wind gusts on just one of our models as we head into Saturday evening. Again, we could top 40 miles an hour, especially throughout southeastern Connecticut, and that wind direction out of the southwest is going to send temperatures to 60, if not higher, as we head into Saturday evening as well. Behind that cold front, still windy, but the wind direction shifts to the northwest on Sunday, sending drier, cooler air into the state. 40s will feel more like the 30s. Next week starts off on a fairly mild note, 50 to 55 on Monday, mostly sunny, breezy, less wind, sun and clouds, or at least clouds increase later Tuesday with highs in the mid 50s then some showers likely with a cloudier sky on Wednesday for shoreline highs this weekend 62 on Saturday 48 but brighter on Sunday. Okay, but a good news there Mark. Thank you very much.